Okay, Tom and I are back in Kansas, Jason Quail. And the story here, just like pretty much everywhere else I've been this year, is it's bone dry. Go easy. Okay. I've got CC and Moxie out here, and they actually both lock up on point on this covey here. Ooh. Um, but you can kind of see the difference between a um, more experienced dog and a younger dog. CC knows to stay back here as these birds run out. Whereas Moxie wants to try to follow him and gets a little too close. She does reestablish point here, but the pressure makes the birds come up. Dead bird! That little shit. Dead bird! Good girls! Good girls! We got a double! Good girls! Good girl! Alright, Lucy. Good girls. Well, that's how we're going to start that spot off. I like it. After the cubby find, CC starts picking off the singles. I can't see her in this Milo, but GPS says I'm close, so I'm trying to figure out where she's at here. Dead bird! Dead bird. Good girl, Moxie, here. CC. Here you go, baby. We got it. Here, we got it. We got it. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Good job, baby. CC has another nice point on a single here, but I don't get a decent shot at it. Good girl. Evidently she didn't want to leave without that bird because she followed it over to where it flew and she pointed it again. Be quick on that one. Good girl. By the way, the spot we're hunting is called CC's spot. And we call it that because she's always done well here. The first time we ever came to Kansas, she got me eight birds in an hour and 20 minutes on this spot. You just wouldn't let me leave without it, would you? Boy, I turned the heat up on us today. It's almost 70 degrees going to get into the mid to upper 70s this week unfortunately all right come on girl come on. so now I've got twig and tubs on the ground and I get an alert that tubs is on point about 200 yards away but it is solid plum thickets in between here and there and so it takes me a while to get over there Tubby, dead bird. Now most of these birds flew off to my left, but I get lucky and one flies to my right where I can actually shoot. Good boy, buddy. Come here. Good boy. At least. Dang it, a hen. Good boy, buddy. Look pretty on that one. I didn't think I was going to get a shot at that because I had to come through that gnarled up mess of a plum thicket. So I was lucky one went my way. The rest of them went that way. I had one that kind of came out here where I could get a shot. Tubby, come on. Now for the last couple of minutes, I've been getting point signals because the dogs have been pointing and tracking all through this Milo. Mm -hmm. It seems like the birds were just running all over the place. Dead bird. Good job. Good girl. All right, we got to get out of here, kids. Good dogs, good dogs, come on. I thought that was a pretty good start to the trip. You know, the scent conditions weren't great, but we were getting in the birds, so it's pretty good overall. 
The next morning we go to one of our historically good spots and we have a pretty good hunt. Tubbs is on point up over this hill a little ways and by the way he was acting seems like these birds were on the move. Easy coop. Then birds start coming up everywhere. Coil. God dang it. Oh, oh my gosh. I whiffed. I got one right here. I freaking whiffed. That was freaking mega cubby. Oh my God. He just kept coming. How many was there? I don't know. A lot. It was a lot. I mean, and I shot for shit on that one. <laughs> I don't know what was up with that. See if there's one left here. You know, get a reprieve. Evidently, I nicked one and didn't realize it because Cooper goes on point on a cripple here. Oh shit, there is. It's it's wounded. I did nick one. Cooper, Cooper, <laughs> oh, it's running. Look at it. <laughs> Dead bird, fetch. Fetch. <laughs> fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Cooper, get bird in here. <laughs> Fetch! Get him! Get him! Dead bird! Dead bird! Get him, <laughs> boy! Atta boy! I think he's got it. Good boy! That was wild. Yeah. <laughs> Not far away, Cooper goes on point again. Man, you gotta love bobs. They will hold for a point. Talk about holding tight. I was like, dude, I think it's in front of his nose. <laughs> Cause he just kept working until he was like, I'm right there. <laughs> Tubby, here. Come here. Good boy. Then a few minutes later, he's on point again. Oh, he's right here. Get his head down. Yeah. Dead yeah, bird. Dead bird, fetch. Here. Cooper's got another single lock down here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, why don't I go behind him, try to push it out. Cooper's on point again here along this wood line. Oh, they're down there. I got that one. Yeah, that's the one I shot at. Oh, you, I didn't even hear you shoot. Yeah, we shot at the same time. Dead bird in there, Coop. Dead bird. Oh, hell, they're still coming out. Yeah, they were kind of scattered through there.
Now Tubbs has another cubby. Sure. Whoa, Cubby, whoa. Good boy. I only had one shilling. <laughs> Good boy, Tubby. I picked out a male. Good boy. Good boy. I had some light shine right on his head and I saw him and I popped him. I think Tubby would hunt anything that he thought Cooper was hunting. <laughs> Be like, no, I'm gonna get it first. Here I've got Moxie on point at the edge of this Milo. Good girl. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Had a girl. Good girl. Good girl, give. Woo! Well, goodness. Uh, all right, girl. Uh, all right, we got one to sit for us. That's amazing. I didn't quite get it on camera, but just a few minutes later, she hits another quick point on another rooster. Good job. Good girl. Woo! Good job, girl. Let's get a view of that in the sunshine. There's nothing prettier than a rooster in the sun. This is the next morning here, and we head out with Tubbs and Cooper. Cooper's right in front of us here backing, and Tubbs is up ahead on point. Whoop. This one did one of those fighter jet zigzag moves on me, and man, I think that's the hardest shot there is. Wow, that one spun me around bad. I just kind of whiffed. I mean, it just did one of these. I just was behind it. Good grief. Here Tubbs is pointed a couple times, mm -hmm. but he seems to have trouble locking him down. You know, as we go along here, the sending conditions just get tougher and tougher. Easy. So I shoot this one that comes to the left here, and Tom shoots one that goes to the right. Here, Tubby. Cooper's got mine over there. Or he should be close. Good boy, Tubbs. Come here. Good boy, come here. Good boy. Loose. Good boy. Good boy. It's just right out there. A little bit, like, straight out from you. So as Cooper's retrieving that second bird, Tubbs goes over a little ways and goes on point again. Wait a minute, I haven't reloaded. Whoop. Whoop. That was close. This was a low flying bird, and since the dogs were around, I tried to just aim high and hope I hit it with the bottom of my pattern. But I want to be clear, this is still a risky shot, and I wouldn't recommend it. Koopy just found it, I think. Maybe. Yep. Yeah. 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 
Feeling a little off today. I was way behind that one on the first shot. And then it was getting a little snug to the dogs. I could not shoot. I know. That, there's been a couple of those this morning that I was like right in between you and the bird. Two bottles, Cooper. No, Tubby. You've had enough, bud. You get all water bellied. Can't have any because it's empty. Yeah. Look at that big. Tub. I mean, look at his freaking gut. It's. <laughs> it's all. He does have water belly. Yeah, I mean, he's. I gotta quit giving him water. He's gonna drink too much. He's gonna have to take one of them five minute fences. Now I'm trying a new spot that we've never been to before, and I've got Twig out here, and I get a point signal that she's on the other side of this bush right here. And as I make my way up there, some birds come out, I just don't get any shots, I only hurt them. Um, and then some kind of trickle out here, and I take a stab at one, but don't get it. Dang it. They, I could hear them running through there. I think I shot my own truck. Here she goes on point again and then tracks him up into this grass. Good girl, Twiggles. Good girl. Here. Good girl. That wasn't the prettiest work I've ever seen, but she was pointing. And we don't have any wind to speak of dry and dusty so I'm gonna be a little more forgiving than I normally would that's a good girl now we're just up ahead of where that last covey came up and it looks like there's probably some singles running through here because she's pointing and tracking easy easy yeah they, they already got out I think then she locks down on a single out in the Milo. Good girl, Twiggles. Good girl! Good girl! Alright! Good girl! Yeah! That was a pretty one. Now Tom and I are back together here and we've got Tubbs and Tat on the ground. Tubbs is on point on this really long plum thicket here and it's one of those where walking in you're like, I'm probably not going to get a shot because they're just going to come out the other side. Whoa. Go that way. Whoa. There they go. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. So Tubbs goes on point again, whoa, and Tubbs, this time Tom is able to get around to the other side to try to avoid that same situation happening again. He's to your left. Just keep coming right in, right in there. Now he relocates and goes on point again. He's on point again. He may have one trap or something. Yep, he does. Oh, it's, it's running at me. I can see it. Holy shit, did it come out? Huh? You didn't see it come out? No. Oh my god, it, it was running right through the bush. What in the hell? Where did it go? I mean, I heard it. Yeah. Oh, it, re it started running right at me. We keep the dogs hunting for it, but we never do find that slippery little sucker. Now we've got Tat on point on a bird that does not want to come out. Is 
They, may, they won't want to come out of here. If they can't get out of here. There it goes. Good boy, come here. So then I get an alert that Tubbs is on point a couple hundred yards away. And as soon as I get it, I know where he is. He's in this plum thicket up ahead. And the reason I know is because we've gotten a covey out of this plum thicket every year we've been in Kansas. Boop, boop. As we approach, these birds start running around in there. Here he goes. They're still in there. <laughs> They're right here. Tubby, dead bird, tubby, dead bird. You can see these little dudes scurrying before they take off. They're right here. Dead bird, look out. Tubby, no, Tubbs. Come here. Come here. Dead bird in here. Dead bird. It dropped in the short shit? I don't know. It, I mean, it wasn't far off of that same line. Yeah. Dead bird. I mean, it be from here over. Dead bird. Looks like he's got it. Good boy, Tubby. Here. Come here. Whoa. Here, Tack goes on point on one of these singles, whoa, whoa. and it's really dug whoa. into this cover. And the sinning conditions are just getting worse and worse. So you can see it in the dogs. They're just not sure. They're uncertain exactly where the birds are. And they're having a hard time locking them down. It's dug in. It's dug in. It's probably right here. I just can't get it out. See if they can... Yeah, I know. She's done this a couple times. It is right here. Ugh. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to go like that. I think this illustrates pretty well how difficult it can be for the dogs. You know, between the birds digging in and the poor sending conditions, it's pretty tough out there. Okay, this has got to be my favorite part of the trip. So Tom gets a point alert that Tad is on point a couple hundred yards away. We make our way up there, and on our way there, Tubbs goes on point in front of us here. And she's still on point about 50, 60 yards on up ahead. Where's she at? Oh, this is where they are, dude. One gets up right in front of Tom here, but it's not the one the dogs are pointing, so we don't shoot. I'll try to wait for you to get up there. We got one dog here and one dog there. Tom flushes his bird, but it comes straight at me, so he can't shoot. Nope. Get it, get it, get it. Whoa, Tubby, whoa. Good boy, whoa. Well, that's one down. You ready to shoot? What the fuck? <laughs> now that was cool. <laughs> yeah, baby. Tubby, dead bird out here. You can get either one. You probably drop one and grab the other. Are they both there? No. Tubby, dead bird. Dead bird. Good boy, here. Here. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. Good boy. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> That's awesome.
<laughs> I can't believe it all worked out. I know. <laughs> it was like, okay, I... But when that one took off before we... Were... Yeah, I was like... Oh, fuck, I hope that's not one of them. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, they're both locked. That's not That's not the ones they're pointing. And I was like, fuck, I can't shoot. Shoot it, Eric. Shoot it. I know. Please don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tubbs just stood there and waited on us to flush the second one. Yeah. I mean, that was just cool. Well, that's one of those moments I just love. You know, it's my favorite part about this trip to Kansas with my brother, is we get to share these little moments with us and the dogs that just end up burned in our memories forever. There's plenty more action coming up in part two, so be sure to check it out. <laughs> now that was cool. <laughs> yeah, buddy. If you're interested in getting more of this kind of content, you might want to check out my Patreon page. You can go to patreon.com and search for Eric Forrester, or you can click on the link in the description and get access to all that extra content. Mm -hmm.